services and coverage you can count on. Health insurance reform will save you and your family money. If you lose your job, you change your job, you start a new business, you'll still be able to get quality health insurance you can afford. You'll have confidence that it's there for you. Now, if you don't have health insurance, you're finally going to be able to get it at affordable prices. If you have a pre-existing medical condition, no insurance company will be able to deny you coverage. You won't be, you won't be worried about being priced out of the market. You won't have to worry about one illness leading your family into financial ruin. Americans who have coverage will finally have stability and security. And Americans who don't will finally have quality affordable options. That's what reform means. Reform means that for the first time we'll have a health insurance exchange. It's a fancy word for a simple concept. We're going to create a marketplace where you and your family and small businesses can go to shop for their health insurance and compare side by side prices and services and quality so that you can choose the plan that best suits your needs. And that's going to mean that insurance companies are going to have to compete for your business. And one of those choices would be a public health insurance option. An affordable plan. An affordable plan that would finally keep the insurance companies honest because they'd be increasing competition and promoting best practices. So you'd have insurance companies having to look over the shoulder. They can't just price down, they can't just eliminate people who are sicker or older. They'd have to cover everybody. Most of all, I have promised that reform will not add to our federal deficit. You're going to hear all kinds of stories. I've seen them. I couldn't tell you. It will be paid for. And a big part of how we're going to do that is by cutting out the waste and unnecessary subsidies we give insurance companies that drive up costs for everybody. So let me be clear. When you hear that health care reform will cost $1 trillion over 10 years. You need to know that at least half of that will be paid for by money already in the system that's being badly spent. Well, also, I mean, we're spending $177 billion to give to insurance companies instead of making sure that money's going to patients for decent care. change incentives so that our doctors and our nurses can finally start providing patients with the best care and not just the most expensive care. And if we do that, then reform will bring down the cost of Medicare and Medicaid and that will lower our deficits in the long run. So make no mistake about it, health care reform is deficit reform. This is what reform will mean for all of us. Right now we are closer to making a reality than we have ever been. We now have the support of the hospitals. We've got the support of the doctors. We've got the support of the nurses who represent the best of our healthcare system and know what's working about it. We have supporters, we have the support of governors like Dan Corson, who know what reform will mean to the people of this state. We've made unprecedented progress Congress, especially this week. But now's when it gets really hard. Now's when we got to get over the finish line. This is when you start hearing the same criticism, the same scare tactics, and the dumbest back to the past. And if you do hear these critics, I want you to ask them a question I always ask. What's your plan? What's your alternative? What do you plan to do for all those families whose medical bills are driving them into bankruptcy? What will you do for the businesses that are choosing between closing the doors or letting go of their workers or eliminating health care for their employees? What do you have to say to every taxpayer in America whose dollars are propping up a health system that's driving us further and further into debt? When it comes to health care or energy or education, the cynics, the naysayers, Washington crowd, they seem to think we can somehow just keep on doing what we're doing and expect a different result. But everywhere I go, I meet Americans who know we can't do that. They 
They know we gotta change how we're doing business. They know change isn't easy. They know that there will be setbacks and false starts, but they also know this. We are at a moment when we've been given the extraordinary opportunity to remake our world. A chance to seize our future. A chance to shape our destiny. As difficult as it sometimes is, there's something about the American spirit that says that we can we don't have to cling to the past. We're gonna look forward to the future. Congress and your senators, if you re-elect John Corbyn,